Welcome back to Studio Chatter. It's a startling number, but every day 44 veterans commit suicide in our country. Let's welcome Becky Nepper from the Post 68 of the American Legion to the chat. Welcome. Thank you. Hi, Becky. Hello, it's Becky. good to have you back. Nice to see you again. You. Yeah, so you and I were talking a little bit, what, a month or two ago, and you told me about an event that you guys were going to be having, which we thought, let's get you on Studio Chatter and have you tell us a little bit about it. Well, we are. It's our first ever, so I'm hoping it'll be a success. Um, and we are calling it the Brent Sanford Suicide Prevention Day. Brent Sanford is, was um, a resident of Spanish work and a member of our post. And he, unfortunately, was one of the 44 last oh. June and took his life. So that's why we're naming it oh, after okay. him. Okay. Um, the national headquarters for the American Legion has designated April 29th as um, Be the One Day, and that's, that's their take on suicide prevention. They want people to be the one to reach out and help our veterans that are struggling. Mm -hmm. um, of course, as a veterans organization, we're worried about our veterans, but as members of the community, we're also worried about our children. And Utah has some sad statistics Indeed. when it comes to our children and suicide rates. Um, so we are um, expanding it to include our high schools we're going to have hope squads from our three high schools in the area to be there and, and give out information. Um, we're also raising money for an orga organization called Heroes Haven, mm -hmm. and that's a charitable organization that helps veterans with PTSD and trauma associated with their service to our country. Okay. Um, they do what they call a cohort three times, four times a year. There's three for men and one for women because the suicide rate is three to one. Mm -hmm. Really? And they have a, a facility up in Park City, I believe it is, where they go up, um, they have um, therapy, they do rock climbing, skiing, archery, um, and, all, and a lot of other activities. But the main focus is for them to meet other veterans that they can be the one for, reach out and have someone to call when they're feeling down, someone who's been through the same type stuff. Um, so we are going to raise money uh, for this organization. That's okay. awesome. So where will this event be? It will be at our memorial building on Main Street and 4th North. Okay, and the what time? Type? Yeah. It's from 11 until 3, right after the ribbon cutting. So for I'm hoping, library. at the library, mm -hmm. so I'm we'll hoping people will down. just mosey on down. And we do have a gentleman from Wasatch Behavioral Health that will be doing a presentation at 11.30. Okay. I was going to ask, is this like stop by any time between 11 and 3 or plan on staying there the whole time? Um, it's a stop by, but if you're interested in hearing his presentation about okay. uh, suicide prevention, he will be there throughout the day, but do a presentation at 1130. Okay. And so what other things are going to be at the event? Um, there's also an organization called Honor 365, which is similar to um, Heroes Haven, they help with not just veterans but first responders and they have what they call an oath for life. Mm -hmm. It's a, just a big whiteboard that people can sign, um, sign an oath that they will not take their life. Mm -hmm. And so we're oh. going to have that there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's not a family, I don't believe, that's not been touched one way or another by suicide. Um, like I said, we have our Brent Sanford. Um, I have two cousins that took their lives. And were they veterans as well? One was, one was not. Okay. Um, 
our bishop's daughter three years ago took her life when she was 16, 17 mm -hmm. years old. And her family has made buttons that they mm -hmm. give out. And we will have buttons there with, with um, I think mine says, you're enough. Yours says you, you matter. matter. You matter. So they all say different things. They all say, oh, I like so that. you are amazing, you're enough, you are worthy of love. And we'll just have those to hand out. Um, we are going to have donuts from Donut Run there. So kind. Uh, sack lunches from Jimmy John's. I just got a call today from the Indian restaurant in Payson. They Taka? Are, yes. <laughs> Love that. Wow, you <laughs> right? were. They're hoping they can have their truck there. Okay. He's got to oh, check their nice. schedule. But we will have some food there, and part of the proceeds um, will go to Heroes Haven. Okay. Or we can make donations at that or time. Or you can make donations. And do we need to be in person to make donations? Is that the best way to do wow. it? Wow. See, this is our first time, okay. so, you know, I'm, like, not thinking ahead like that because I'm an <laughs> old person. <laughs> so what you need to do is get one of those Hope Squad kids from the high school to do some QR code. A little thing or something. Well, you know what? Heroes, okay. Heroes Haven has a QR code. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So I also wonder, beyond the designated day, um, if there's veterans that are that are struggling because oftentimes we we don't know when someone is struggling is there is there a number or some outreach that they can use or call if they are struggling there is and i should have that number for today but um we i can don't post it. Okay. So we, we can we, yeah we can yep. do that we will have flyers and pamphlets and stuff there um what is it so, about our sweet veterans that gets them into that dark place? Well, you know, unfortunately, war's ugly. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, preparing to go to war can be kind of ugly. Uh -huh. um, and it's, I mean, I, I was fortunate enough to never be mobilized in my 27 years of service. 27 years. That's 27 amazing. years. Oh, congratulations. It was almost yes. like a lifetime. I, yeah, <laughs> it is. It is. Um, but I was ready to go. And I'm sure that's a lot that of anxiety training built up. That training can be um, very stressful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I had kind of a funny thing happen when I retired. I decided maybe I'd just get a part-time job at a national craft store. And in my interview, the manager said, well, you know, this is a really stressful job. Do you oh. think you can handle it? And I'm like, <laughs> I, well, I think okay. so. Okay, I hope you got the job. I got the job. OK. <laughs> Congratulations. And, I, and it didn't stress me out. <laughs> but this job even more probably purposeful and yeah, and, meaningful and for you. And you know, one thing, when you're working in the civilian population, mm -hmm. If it gets bad, you can quit or you mm. can leave. Mm -hmm. But oftentimes, when you're in the military, you go home to the same place that the people that you work with live. Yeah. You oh, know, in a sure. barracks mm, or a really big tent if you're out in. So you're together all the time. You're just not a getting lot a break. Of, yeah, a lot from of time. That, so you and you know you can't just leave Iraq and walk home. Mm -hmm. You know, you're there. Yeah. So, well, we are very grateful that you have put this event together, and we will share it with the masses. And we hope to see you oh, on April 29th, and, and, and everyone else that cares to join us. Thank, thank, thank you, you Becky. so much. Thanks, Becky. There's more studio chatter coming up.